You know how they say that there's only one step between love and hate? Well, today we'll prove that it's the same thing with sanity. Yep, it doesn't take much effort to become a crackpot. What happened to Susanna Cahalen reminds of a horror movie plot. The thing is, it all happened for real. Twenty-four-year-old Cahalen was a prosperous, young, good-looking lady heading for the bright future. She had a good job, she was quite the looker, and she had a loving boyfriend. What else do you need? Susanna never could have thought that soon her life will change so drastically. There was everyone thinking that the journalist went completely cuckoo. Poor Susie was about to fall into a coma and die. Lucky for her, the doctor in charge of her case turned out to be a very, very competent man. The factor which in the end saved her life. The girl's recovery path began with a bit of a nightmare. She was well out of her mind. She was laughing and crying at the same time, afraid and excited all at once. Her mood was changing very suddenly. Constant panic attacks made it really, really hard for her to sleep. With each day, she was only getting worse, to an extent that soon her friends and family couldn't even recognize her anymore. It was at that point when she began getting actual seizures. Doctors didn't seem to be able to help the poor girl at all. On the contrary, a lot of that medication only made it worse and turned once a beautiful girl into a horrific monster. She tried to escape a few times, began attacking doctors and relatives. There was no way of knowing when she's going to throw her next tantrum. But luckily, it all changed when Dr. Sohil Najjar took over. Observing his patient's behavior, Sohil made his assessment. The very first thing he asked Susie to do was to draw a picture of a clock face. When the doc saw the drawing, he immediately figured the trouble with his patient. Turned out Susie wasn't a loony at all. Trouble with her was that she had an anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis, a very rare type of brain inflammation. It became clear to Sir Hill when he saw the picture. Susie drew only half a clock face. The doc told Susanna's parents that her brain was on fire and that he'll do all he can to save her. With God's will, Susie got better in no time. The result of her month-long dreadful state came out in a form of a book she called The Brain on the Fire. And because she could hardly remember the events of the past month, she had to gather all the info through her parents and hospital staff members. Also, a feature film based on her memoir was released in June 2018 on Netflix. If you guys like this story, leave a like and subscribe to Amazico. We have plenty of stories coming up. Stay tuned, see you soon.